All right, welcome to part two of this simple prototype that we're creating, and we're now to the phase where we want to create shape keys. So before you create shape keys, you need to apply your modifiers because you can't do it afterwards. Blender is notoriously fickle. If you change the mesh much at all, the shape keys will go crazy. So you don't you don't want to do that. Anyhow, here are the shape keys. This one's the base shape key. The first one you add is always the base shape key. So if you want to edit the base mesh, this is where you'd go. After that, however, we can do whatever custom shape keys we want. Let's call this one Mannishness, and that will go ahead and decrease some of the more feminine aspects of this shape. I think it may be a real drummer who's bad rather than a drum machine that's bad, and that, that kind of makes me sad. I mean, if you're not even going to be a good drummer. So we can go ahead and smooth these verts, but as you can see, it's not mirroring. So let's go ahead and turn on mirroring, X mirror, and smooth those verts. Oh, that's the shading. There's the verts. And that basically cuts away any femininity in that area. And we can uh, edit whatever we would want. For example, we could make the back stronger or whatever. But we're going to go ahead and leave it at this just for the sake of time. And that means you can see, shoop, 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 easy as pie. So we want to create another shape key. Let's call this one uh, Fat. And this will make our character, uh, take our character from chubby to, to obese. Uh, and so we could do this trying to edit, but these it, editing individual points is really a pain in the ass. Proportional editing doesn't work when you're doing X mirroring. So what we have to do is we have to turn to sculpt mode. Sculpt mode is really great, but uh, I'm going to use the grab brush. But here's the issue. You can see it's not doing anything. Why isn't it doing anything? Well, I wanted to turn symmetry on. That's got nothing to do with why it's not doing anything. The problem is that right now we're editing a shape key that's at zero. Let's turn it up to one. And now we can edit the shape key, and it works fine, like so. Let's turn up our radius to get ourselves a nice soft brush. And we're going to go ahead and pull the belly forward and out. I hope you're enjoying our um, amateur rap hour here in Boston. Uh, amateur rap two hours, or maybe three hours. Uh, now, if we wanted to do this uh, more interestingly, we could put in things like uh, the the belt gut, uh, you know, the loop that you get when you're when you're uh, um, uh, men have uh, men especially have a very noticeable uh, gut line. So if we turn down the radius, we can pull this area in and not that far and create a noticeable, you know, man gut. Um, and of course, the fat gets deposited in a variety of locations other than just that area. So we can just pull out all of the areas we would like to add weight. And this is just a template, so I don't have to worry about the fact that that area looks like he's wearing a backpack or some shit. Now, this is intended to be either gender neutral or perhaps a masculine fat layer, so uh, we're not going to make it deposit in any stereotypically feminine ways, but we are going to go ahead and just have fun with our brush, because this is definitely the most fun part of creating your mesh, just going crazy with the sculpt tools. And of course, if we were serious about this, we would come back uh, around with some uh, some brushes to um, uh, to soften it all up and make it so that it didn't have quite as much um, uh, hard edges. We've got some some annoyingly hard edges coming in, but we're just goofing off at this point. Uh, it doesn't really. Um, we're just having fun, and I suppose I should stop having fun because uh, it will take up all of the time of me having fun and I won't get to the rest of the tutorial. Although we're almost at the end of the, uh, end of the tutorial anyway. Alright, so I've had my fun. I've adjusted the character. We can go ahead and hit up a little bit of these areas with a smooth brush. There you are. Because a couple of them are annoyingly um, jaggy. And that's no good. So just... Uh, that got rid of a lot. The smooth brush is set way too high. That's better. Just smooth it down. It was set so high that it was almost a deflate brush. Alright. So 
So this is our basic character, and I'm going to go ahead and save him and import him into Unity. So here he is imported into Unity, and there is definitely an issue here, and that is that we saved the character with these keys set to something other than zero. And that means that when we import it into Unity, they stay set, and then the blend keys don't inherit that. So you can see that it says fat is set to zero, even though it's actually set to 100. So if I were to set it again, I would get a double application. And this is uh, an annoying feature of, uh, of Unity. So I'm going to go ahead and set this back down to zero, save it again, and import it again. All right, so now we've got the right shape. And it's definitely a test shape. You can see that it's got a lot of issues with the profile and how it looks uh, when, you, when you actually stare at it here in the game. But it'll work well enough for our needs. So let's go ahead and create a fat guy. And you can see that we have a passable fat guy here in Unity. These blend, sh these, uh, blend shapes, they're not called shape keys in, in Unity. They're called blend shapes. But anyhow, um, they work fine and they're really fantastic. You can use them live in the game and all that sort of stuff. And what I'll be doing is I'll be creating a method to actually map clothing onto this mesh or any other mesh um, with a blend key neutral uh, application, which means that I won't have to create the clothes and then if I was creating a shirt, I wouldn't have to create the shirt and then carefully map all of its uh, verts to all of the same blend keys in all of the same ways. Instead, I can create a shirt and I can just say, can you morph it in the same way that whatever's beneath it gets morphed? I'm not sure I'm going to show tutorials for that. I don't think I will because it's still in testing. But I did want to put something up and I thought that a good thing to put up would be how to use the Blender to Unity shape key system. And I think the key elements here are that you can use the, uh, the sculpt brush and you want to save with everything at zero. Alright, that's it.